Que é esse? Present. Man steps into his garage and sees a snake staring right at him. The Australian outback certainly isn't for everyone. Unfortunately, one man had to find this out in the worst way. As Tom was on his way to work one morning, he received a surprise visitor. But it wasn't exactly a welcomed visitor. In that moment, Tom began to panic, fearing for his life. As he called out for help, he didn't receive the answer he was hoping to get. When John was younger, he experienced something life-changing. While at school one day, there was a pet show and tell. One of John's classmates brought in his worst nightmare to show the class. Inside of container was a slithering corn snake. While John was at recess, he opened his lunch box to scary sight. The missing snake slithered out of the box. As John screamed, he threw his lunch box up in the air. As the lunch box began to come back down, the snake fell on John's arm. The snake became frightened and beat down onto John's thumb, which obviously frightened the small boy. Unfortunately, it turned into a phobia that continued with him throughout his whole life. As an adult, as John was making his way to work one day, he entered into the garage and got an eerie type of feeling. He felt like he was being watched. Then, John heard a bone-chilling noise. John immediately turned as soon as he heard the low hiss. As soon as he looked, John saw two eyes staring at him. His stomach dropped. As John laid his eyes on the python, he knew he only had one option. He swallowed his anxiety and grabbed his phone. He was fumbling like a madman. But he eventually managed to dial the number that he was looking for. John was surprised by the voice on the other end. Theo Lawler wasn't exactly your typical snake catcher. Actually, he was the opposite of that, which John would soon discover. Stu wasn't that someone would expect. What do you think about snake catchers? He was the opposite. Stu fought for the rights of snakes. They typically say that opposites complement each other, but in Stu and John's case, nothing could have been farther from the truth. As soon as Stu arrived, he encountered a hysterical John. Stu actually thought the reaction was funny, which only caused John to grow more anxious. Stu outright refused to kill the snake, which infuriated John. John screamed, Can't you see this thing is too dangerous to be left alive? As John was screaming, an opportunity appeared. Stu noticed that the snake was winding its way to behind John's back from the rafter. Vengeance began to course through Stu's body, and he definitely wanted to give the snake what it needed. The snake began to coil its body, as though it was getting ready to strike. The snake's eyes grew steady, and his body became taut. Stu immediately knew what he had to do. As the snake moved towards John, Stu jumped into action. In an act of bravery, Stu pushed John to the side and grabbed the snake. As John fell to the floor, he saw what was happening around him. He immediately changed his opinion of Stu. The man that had made him so angry was now his hero. Instantly, John knew what needed to be done. As if he was being controlled, John jumped to help Stu. As he overcame his hesitations, John grabbed the tail of the slithery snake. Stu was then able to secure the snake's head. Once the snake was under control, Stu turned to John to thank him. Finally, the men were able to come to an agreement. John no longer wanted the snake to be killed. In fact, he agreed with Stu that it should be released into the wild. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.